Uh, us up here, um, we are, as, as I like to say, we're journalists uh, uh, and film critics. Is that what you like to say? No, I hate it. Yeah, like, no, we're not like, journalists. But no, like, when I, if I have to, like, you know, submit for, uh, like, Fun, not funding, uh, advertising things and things like that. I have to put gaming journalists. Oh, really? So like, if, yeah, if, if we ever want to go to like PAX or oh. uh, anything like that, like, yeah, we're double toasted gaming journalists. Like, uh, <laughs> no, we're not. We just sit up here and talk bullshit and play video games. Yeah, that's uh, all we do. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> uh, but with um, with being being gaming journalists up here at up, up at double toasted, <laughs> the, the, the well respected double toasted, like our name. Is is synonymous with fairness and honesty, and quality, and, and quality, and the truth. Yeah, we'd never, we'd never eat hot dogs out of the gutter uh, <laughs> or, or pizza. eat pizza off the ground. <laughs> like, who would do that? Like, what monster? What monster in his right mind would would do that? Eat pizza off the ground? And it was only there for two seconds, guys. Come on, come on, two seconds. It was only there for two seconds. Give me a break. Uh, but I was like, pizza rat. Uh, but uh, being gaming. Gaming aficionados, I'll say that. I don't know. Being gamers, god damn it. That's yeah, what I'll say. people who play games. Being video gamers. <laughs> being, being people who play video games. Um, you expect us to be able to do a few things like play video games well. Uh, you've seen us up here when we've had, you know, bad, difficult times playing a game. Um, you've seen me struggle with whack-ass games like Crash Bandicoot. Uh, um, what else? Uh, Ratchet and Clank, the, mm-hmm. the 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 new edition, and you know things like that. And then you've also seen Gert struggle with things like Dark Souls Three, yeah, uh, or uh, Uncharted: The Lost Legacy. Or I struggled more with Uncharted Four. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Uh, but you you've seen us up here have minor struggles, but we we get past the learning curve and and you know get better. And usually with those games, uh, there is a um, you know, something a new mechanic that we're not used to. That's why we can't play it. Or you know, it's it's something that's introducing us. It's not it's not simple. Mm-hmm. Uh, if it was something like a platformer, it's like all right, maybe we're having problems landing on this one thing where we might slide off because the game's fucking broken, <laughs> or we're just not that good at it. No, trash ass crash man, yeah. terrible game. <laughs> uh, but uh, you've seen us up here. We've stumbled over some games, but not to the level of this guy. Now there is a game coming out very soon. Yeah. Um, called Cuphead. We have been looking forward to this game for quite some time. I would say this was shown in like E3 2012. Yeah, we've been looking forward to this game for 18 years. <laughs> yeah, it, it feels like it's been some Final Fantasy 15 shit. Yeah. And like if this game isn't amazing, it's it fuck you guys. Mm-hmm. Uh, but with Cuphead, it's a very short, uh, not short, but it's a very simple game to play. Uh, basically a platformer. Uh, you take a little guy, you run around, you get to shoot, you get to jump over things and, and have, you know, have fun. Um now you know other respected gaming journalists. They get to go out to all these these big conventions, games coms. Uh, um, uh, I was about to say Comic Con, not that E uh, three and things like that. And they get to test games and yeah. test little playthroughs and everything. Get early access. Yeah, early access because mm-hmm. they are respected game journalists. They are the best. Yeah, and uh, and and some of them have been doing this for quite some time. Uh, our boy here. Let me make sure I say his name right because I want to put some respect on it. Uh, Dean Takahashi. Uh, Dean Takahashi, he has been a gaming journalist for 18 years. Probably longer than some of y'all have been alive. Wow. Um, so yeah, he's he's been playing video games for a long, long time. And you would think, you know what? This guy growing up with video games, being a gaming journalist, his sole job being a gaming journalist, he should be able to play the most simple of platformers, which is almost like Mario, so he should know how to play this. Mm-hmm. Uh, it shouldn't be a problem for him to do that. You would like to think that, but no. Uh, our, our friend Dean has has had a problem with Cuphead, and it's it's interesting. <laughs> He's still there. <laughs> he, is, he is still there, Gertz. Let's let's see if he can figure it out. I think you. I, I'm, first of all, um, I don't know how to figure this out. I'm quite lost. This is mm-hmm. this is a very difficult puzzle, Gertz. I can understand being yeah. stuck here for like at least twenty to twenty five minutes. This this is difficulty. This is difficulty at its finest, Gertz. Do you have any any hints on maybe how you can get past this segment? I'm stumped. You're stumped. I'm stumped too. Maybe maybe Dean Dean. I think you you might have this. Let's let's double check and see if you figure this out. I think he gave up for a second. He's like, I don't understand what I'm doing here. What's how is this the thing? Uh, Gertz, can you, you still got any hints? Maybe anything that can help him out? 
I think you should probably just give up. You should give up. Yeah. This yeah. Game, this game's clearly not very good. Yeah. This is, it looks harder than Blood uh, Bloodborne, Dark Souls Three combined. Like I don't. I still don't. Maybe, maybe Dean, we'll give you one more chance. Let's see if we, you you got this. We'll see if you get it. I th- mm. You think he he might have it? Do you think he's got it, Gertz? I th- I think. If you he, think if he's doing what I think he's trying to do. Mm-hmm. I think he's got it. He might have it. All right, let's 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 check it. in again and see if he's got this. Look how even the <laughs> Congrats, Dean. Congrats, you made it. Everybody on the couch is so happy for you. They're like, Jesus Christ, we hate you. <laughs> but I, even the funny thing about this is I like even the music just gave up. The second yeah. he landed, it was like fucking time, man. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, people, it only took him a minute and let me let me double check the time. A minute and thirty five seconds <laughs> to figure out that he could jump from this little cube over that big cylinder right there. Only a minute and thirty five seconds, Gertz. I mean, come on, like in 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 gaming, eighteen years in gaming journalism. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's lightning speed. A minute and thirty five seconds to figure out a platforming section. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's record time. Dude. Records for the wrong reason. But oh yeah, for time. The the worst reasons, Dean. <laughs> Dean, I, Dean, homie, what are you doing? <laughs> this is this is a struggle. I I <laughs> I'm flabbergasted. I think that's the word I would think of. Do you think this is deliberate? No, you don't think so. No, I think he's old and he needs to be put out the pasture. <laughs> I think, I, that's that's what my thought is because it's like, yo, we we see the guys that get older and they're still like good at games. What's your, what's your homeboy's name from uh, Attack of the Not Attack of the Show? Um, uh, Adam Sessler, I think it was oh, from uh, G Four and yeah. everything when they were doing um, X Play. Yeah, when they were doing that, you're like, all right, that guy is obviously up there, but he's still good at games. He can still play them. This Dean guy is a dumpster fire when it comes to gameplay and everything. You're thinking. Well, you know, maybe it was just Cuphead. I mean, it's his first time playing the game. He doesn't know what he's doing. It's understandable. No, um, because when you get to even the simple sections of the game where it's just, oh, just jump around and shoot and have fun, he's shooting while squatting on the ground for some reason. Um, He seems to run into almost every enemy he can find. And I, I... I'm at a loss as to why he's playing the game like this. And look, he keeps dying constantly. Yeah. This is if I show, showed you this whole 26 minute video, he dies at least 24 times. Mm-hmm. So you're just like, ah, dude, what's, what's, what's going on with your life, man? Yeah. I, I, I don't know, man. Like, if, even if it's not deliberate, this is probably the best way to get their name out there that they could possibly have. Because mm. <laughs> I know I want to see this dude play more games. <laughs> no, nah, man, I can't. I can't, dude. If, some, if someone takes this long to figure out, like a minute and 35 seconds to figure out this. I was on the edge of my seat. <laughs> I'm glad you were edging, but I'm not on one edge to this. This is fucking horrible. This is this is terrible gameplay. And you're thinking, all right, maybe this is just this guy. Again, it's a new game. He's new to this. Apparently, his um his when it comes to his journalism, uh, again, he's well respected in in the world uh, in mm-hmm. the world of gaming journalism. 18 years thick in it. Uh, he um he also has uh, interesting opinions about games that he oh. didn't even know uh how to play. Again, oh. um. There is this little game that came out. I know Gertz is a, a massive fan of this uh, series. Uh, this game is Mass Effect. Oh, and yeah. when this first one came out, everybody was like, all right, it's cool. It's, it's great storytelling. It was it 20,000, 20, 200,000 uh, lines of dialogue and you know so many choices and characters you die going into other uh, characters that uh, die and don't come into other games, characters that you save or go into two and three and things like that. Um, revolutionary for a lot of people. This guy, uh, Dean Takahashi, again thinks otherwise. Keep in mind, we're not we're not coming at your opinion. Um, we're just coming at the way you played the game. And hear me out. I know that sounds a little weird. Your boy wrote a lengthy article about Mass Effect and when it first came out and why it falls uh, short of the hype. And this, this is again to, uh, 2007. 2007. Okay. As you see right, the dates right there is Dean, uh, December 28th, 2007 at 12.01 a.m. Dean, uh, Dean Takahashi wants you to wake up three days after Christmas and let you know that Mass Effect game is trash. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Dean goes on to write that this game is incredibly difficult. It is hard. I wish there was a leveling system. Oh. 
Now, Dean, uh, buddy. Now, <laughs> now, um, for anybody that that um, that played Mass Effect, uh, myself included, mm-hmm. uh, you would know that there is a what, Gertz? There is a leveling system. There is a leveling system. One of the best things about the game. Yeah, uh, your boy had a very difficult time. He he said the the difficulty is too hard. I wish there was a way to make my character stronger. All the guns fired the same, whether it be a pistol or a shotgun or this and that. Or these automatic rifles, they all had the same shot even though they describe that in the story and let you know this is why they all sound this way yeah he again we're not coming at your opinion we're just coming at the way you play this game um and the last thing he said uh was that he didn't feel that the game the storyline and the story itself was good at all well that's fine Mm -hmm. i I, like that's that's totally subjective i don't mind him saying that but Mm -hmm. don't say that this game doesn't have features when the features are clearly there and spelled out for you they are that's just spreading misinformation it is and here's the thing uh i will cop to this i will admit when i first played mass effect i played the first third of the game not knowing there was a leveling system because Mm me i like when i get into rpgs if if it's what I'm really interested in, I will take time to learn about it. Like Skyrim is like, all right, let me learn about this world. All right, these are these people. These are that people. These people have magic. These people don't. Da, da, da. Yeah. Uh, and I learned about the leveling system because it's a game I'm invested in. I want to put put more time in. Mass Effect was one of those games where it's like, all right, I'm having fun, but I'm just going to tr- try to coast through this. Yeah. Like I'm not really paying much attention to the story. I know about Mass Effect relays and the Re- Reapers and all these other things. going. Or Re- is it Reavers or Reapers? Reapers. Reapers. Okay. See, it shows how much I care about this game in the series. <laughs> um but I played through the first third. I was like, wow, man. I'm like, I'm getting my ass kicked in this section. I'm like, I don't know what's going on. And so I was going through the menus. Like, maybe I have to turn down the, the difficulty settings. I don't want to do it. Uh, but if I want to get through this game, I might have to do it. And I look through it and see, huh, leveling? And then I click it. And I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. Level up this. Level up my telekinetic abilities. Level up my, my shooting. All right. Now this game is a lot easier. Yeah. You discovered it by looking at the pause menu. Yeah. <laughs> Dean can't do that. D- Dean, no. Dean missed the struggle game out here. Uh, he he just blew it. And you can even tell right here. Uh, somebody at 539, five hours after writing this, uh, this, this article, somebody wrote, you are entitled to your opinion, Dean, but the level you talk about was almost laughably easy to me. Not a catwalk, but the nightmare you describe, but not the nightmare you described. All the characters level up together. All the enemies stay at levels consistent with yours. It's an RPG first and a shooter second. With, dif- with dif- the difficulty you're having on the Pharaohs, it sounds to me like you remember the second part of the game, but not the first. I'm sorry your experience was ruined. Yeah. Yeah. It's in, it's sad, man. It's, it's, it, it baffles me. Uh, first off, it's big of you to admit that you did the same thing. Yeah. Secondly, you're not a gaming journalist. I'm, no, I am. No, like, I am. No, well, I'm not 18 years thick. You weren't. Yeah, you weren't in 2007. I was. I was okay. Here's the thing. Yeah. I wasn't in 2007. The other thing was, I figured it out before I beat the game. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, oh, maybe I'm an idiot. I, oh, wow. Thank, yeah. Thanks, guy. Now I know what I'm doing. Appreciate it. Yeah. And he. he People always say, well, he's entitled to their opinion. In this case, no, you're not entitled to your opinion because your opinion is wrong. Mm-hmm. The fact You are saying something about this game that is not true. Not all opinions are equal. <laughs> you have to formulate your opinion with facts and reasoning. And if those things aren't there, then fuck your opinion. Jesus Christ, girl. Like, you know, <laughs> yo, don't get us into no beef with Dean Taka- Takahashi, man. He might, <laughs> he might shut us down. He's 18 years in. He could, sh- he could kill us. He could stomp us out. What's he going to do? Spend like 12 hours figuring out how to write me a mad email? Damn. Like, <laughs> seriously. I mean, like, come tell, on. Tell him we'll play him for it. We'll, we'll, we'll <laughs> play you. We'll, if, if you, you want to shut us down, we'll play you in something for it. Anything. You pick. And, and we've all had games that we just didn't like that a lot of people did. If he just came out and said, I didn't find the gameplay engaging or anything like that, that's fine. I may mm-hmm. not agree with it, but that's fine. I've had unpopular popular opinions as we all know but just don't say things that aren't true just like i would never say well you can't uh, you can't get better equipment in zelda yes you can <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> that's pretty much what he's doing mm-hmm. so with the your boy dean here as you again get to watch his uh his masterful play of of cuphead right here uh you're thinking wow i think this might be the worst gameplay I've seen, not only from a game company, like, I don't know, a GameStop, a GameSpot, or, or IGN, or game trailers when they were a thing back then, uh, and a gaming journalist. But uh, I, would, I would beg to differ. 
Uh, I don't know if you know this company that we reference all the time on here because they have their sites dope and they get a lot of great news stories. Polygon uh, dot com. They when when Doom the most recent Doom came out, they yeah. had an opportunity to play it early, and uh, I will let you know they were not that good. And yeah. for somebody that um that plays video games constantly, this was a struggle to get through. Uh, yeah, yeah. I know you love Doom, so you ain't got no attachment to come here. But see somebody fuck up Doom, you're like, oh no. Yeah, because this like, was like what your third, uh, number three game of the year, or was it number one? Uh, I think I had it at number three for last year. Okay, uh, yeah, I loved this game. Mm-hmm. I'm willing to give them uh, more slack than Dean with Cuphead. I mean, at least they know how to shoot. Yeah, but they're missing a yeah, lot. They are with the keyboard and mouse. Yeah. Oh, uh, I didn't yeah, this, yeah, yeah, this is not this isn't, this isn't on a fucking console, man. This is a keyboard and mouse of doom. And I guess like, I don't know, like, I don't want to come at someone too bad when it's their first time playing a game. Cause I mean, I've fucked up playing, but like, you, can I, let me, let, can I pose this question before you finish your statement? Yeah, go for it. Now we've uh, up here at double toast that we've criticized people for failing at their jobs. Uh, we've oh. criticized Jai Courtney for being a shitty actor in almost everything he's been in. <laughs> yeah. uh, we've criticized Nat Wolf for being a shitty actor in almost everything he's in. We've criticized many other actors for being shitty. We've criticized directors, cinematographers, all these other people, writers, for being shitty versions of whatever profession they're in. Is that not the same as criticizing these people for being shitty at these games? Like, this is their profession. Like, if you're, mm. if you're a, profession or a professional actor and you're getting paid millions of dollars, shouldn't you be good at acting? If you're a professional gamer and you're, you're a gaming journalist and this is your livelihood, shouldn't you be good at gaming? I don't know if you need to be good at playing games, but you need to be good at having an opinion on them, I think. And if they came out and said, yeah, we were not good at this, mm-hmm. I'd be willing to be like, okay, that's fair. Mm-hmm. But I, I, my issue with it, I guess, if they, if they come out and say this game is really hard and it's because of this, this and this and they're saying things that aren't true or it's just something they played and they weren't that good at then i don't think they're very good at their job i don't expect every gaming journalist to be good at every game Mm -hmm. we all play games that we are just not that good at um but dude this is basic man oh it is shooting like shooting something especially in doom you saw my reaction to this this was not easy to watch it's better man Oh man, this is rough. Oh come on, you know. Ah, uh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> These are adults, Gertz. <laughs> like, yeah. I feel, it feels like we're rooting for children playing this. They're like, all right, if they were like seven and they were playing this and mm. missing like that, I'd understand. Well, I'm sure people have reacted the, the way we're reacting to them playing this. I'm sure they reacted that way to me playing Dark Souls 3. And I admit, I suck at that game. Right. But again, it's the thing, man. It's, it's, I'm yo, to have it's, some it's, empathy. It's, fuck that. <laughs> yo, it's, 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 that's like, all right, them watching you play Dark Souls 3 it, and struggling at it, it makes sense. And, it, and yes, they will give you criticisms, get good, do all this other yeah. stuff. One, games like Dark Souls are supposed to be like, super duper difficult right two they're not the the standard for for action adventure games usually action adventure games you can just slash through people punch them a couple times and they go down right dark souls is a lot a lot of people coming around the corners traps and things like that this is a first person shooter this gets, this gets no more simpler than what doom was and they still struggled to play this and they did it poorly mm-hmm. so yeah man i i don't have any and this is just me and whoever this is at polygon come at me bro uh (laughs) what the fuck were you doing like this is probably one of the the simplest first person shooter games it's literally fuck the story just shoot things punch monsters in the head and chest and that's it that's why they still struggle yeah (laughs) but they still struggle to play this and i have no idea why it's a mess yeah i mean again i don't get why they would have this much difficulty with it i agree with you there but i mean (laughs) You can't be like, oh, I understand. No, I'm, not, I'm not denying that they're they're playing this game horribly. Like, uh, just be clear, I totally agree with you on that point. I guess if they were to come out and try to say like, 
criticize the game based off playing it this way, mm-hmm. then then I would have an issue with it, I guess. I'm, I'm not going to get mad at someone for just sucking at a game because then like because I suck at a lot of games, too. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, it, I get it. We all suck at games or at least we all suck at different games. But I guess if you're trying to pass yourself off as an authority, then I absolutely see your point. Mm-hmm. Like we, we are we are a gaming authority and aficionados and art. What, yes, what we, we see, are. What we, <laughs> <laughs> or what we say goes. It's like, based off this gameplay footage, mm, I don't think that's the case, man. Nah, whoever was playing this was super duper lost. I feel yeah. like they should be put out to pasture with Dean. Whoever was playing this has no has no business reviewing this game. For that, I absolutely agree with you on. Yes, this, this is a mess. Mm. Um, I, again, us as a re- respectable gaming journalist up at Double Toasted, uh, <laughs> We, I think we we struggle with games sometimes, but we still. I don't, and I imagine like this is when somebody edits a highlight reel of us sucking a simple games. Like, oh, of course. we're a great gameplay. Yeah. <laughs> like, shit, they got us. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I, I think if you're going to be somebody that's in the video game field, mm-hmm. um, and you're somebody that that wants to pass yourself off, not pass yourself <laughs> off, but want to say you're a journalist and you're an authority on games, like people at Polygon and Mr. Takahashi. Uh, I feel like you should be able to master the most simple of things, and that includes a first-person shooter, which is not difficult at all, mm-hmm. um, and also being able to jump on a platform without any issues. Like yeah. it's it's baffling, and it's 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 interesting to me. These are definitely extreme examples. For These sure. are very extreme <laughs> examples. Yes, yes, they are. And just like if you're a gaming journalist, if you suck at the game, just admit it. I suck at Dark Souls 3. I admit that. I also don't enjoy it, but mm-hmm. I think it uh, when you try to make yourself feel like an authority and then when footage like this comes out, it really hurts your legitimacy. Yeah, you look like shit. Yeah. Uh, that's not mixed words. You look fucking horrible. Yeah, you look like a buffoon. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes, and that's a black pirate racist. <laughs> <laughs> racist. That that literally what it means. You learn something is, today, is that you? really what it means? Yeah, that's what oh. a buffoon is. Yeah. I apologize. Yeah, I the more like, you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the more you know. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs>